students hope you have already studied chapter number 1 in history and note down the question answers given if not please 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 go through it again and again we are not able to come to know whether you are following us or not if you subscribe you will get the notification as and when the video is uploaded so today we are going to start another chapter that is in geography chapter number 1 resource please go through it and any doubt if you have please mention in the comment box i am not getting any comments from the children so i am worrying whether the children are whether you are watching or not hope you will go through it chapter is chapter number 1 resources what is a resource what are its characteristics anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource whatever the thing that is if it is satisfying our need that is is called as a resource for example you are writing uh, examination and at that time uh, you are not able to find a proper pen at if the pen is satisfying your need then it is considered as a resource characteristics of a resource are utility makes an object resource utility what is the meaning of utility usefulness usefulness makes an object resource as i told you that pen it has some utility it is having ink and that is a resource resources have a value every resource it has its own value water for example it has its value as i told you pen it is also having value the moment that uh, ink uh, is gets over you are going to throw that pen into the dustbin so it has a value some resources become valuable with time that means they are already existing but people are not aware about the utility of it say for example solar energy hydro energy so this has become valuable with time in the ancient period in the medieval period people are not people were not aware about the value valuable or value of that resource people themselves are the most important resource with ideas knowledge invention etc so that is why they are considered as a human resource and this chapter human resource you are going to study this year in as a last chapter so the human resource they are uh, also very important because they ha have the ideas they are having the ideas they are having the knowledge and they are inventing or inventions so nowadays you can see that human resource is playing a very important role they are now finding they are researching isn't it they are people are researching uh, that uh, vaccination for uh, the virus so that is human resource human is doing all these things now types of resources there are three types of resources it is natural resources human made resources and human resources natural resources the name itself says are drawn from nature and used without modification for example air water soil minerals etc so we are using it naturally without doing much modification natural resources are classified on the basis of level of development origin stock and distribution 
again i am saying this natural resources are again classified into on the basis of level of development then origin then stock availability then distribution so we are going to see it one by one now on the basis of the level of development level of development are divided into actual resources and potential resources actual already is having actual resources and potential hai capacity hai isko use karke hum bahut sara aur invention kar sakta hai that is potential resources then origin on the basis of origin it is again divided into abiotic and biotic you have already studied regarding this abiotic and biotic all living and non living organisms are considered as biotic and abiotic then stock is divided into availability of stock kitna hai hamare paas stock renewable say for example water is an example for that renewable resources and non renewable resources you can say that coal comes under non renewable resources then distribution again it is divided into ubiquitous ubiquitous that means it is found everywhere universal for example water then soil then air so that you can find everywhere and localized localized means that can be found in that particular area only can say that local anesthesia jab dete hain agar if it is a, not a major surgery then oh, local anesthesia dete hain aisa karke bolte local matlab wo particular part ko kya sun kar deta hai that is local human now second one first one was natural resources second one human made resources the name suggests itself whatever it the resources made by human is called as human made resources best example that bridges buildings all the construction works so that is all human made or artificial resources but it is a resource because if i have to cross a river without bridge how can i now bridge is a resource for me and who made this human has made this when original form of natural substances has been changed to make them a resource uh, by using technology are called human made resources let's take an example here okay now wood wood is found in the forest isn't it and i'm cutting that wood and i am converting it into the um, bench or any wooden furniture anything that is required for our household or anywhere by using the technology that is called human made resources whereas wood comes under natural resources but the bench or the wooden fee piece or any furniture that is considered as human made resources number of quantity or number of that is quantity and ability ability means mental and physical of the people is referred to as human resources let's uh, go deep into little bit deep into this point so quantity so india's population is okay so and so crore people that is the quantity but ability but how much people they are adding to the growth of the economy let's once again i'll clarify little bit more here the mental and physical ability for example mentally mental ability all the it people they are uh, i can say designing different apps for them what is required mental ability is required brain power is required through various projects they are designing these apps and let us take the example of physical then what do you mean by physical or is a strength or physical ability is shown for example 
in the construction of a bridge or the building or the flyovers whereas you are having a beautiful design but along with the design along with the brain power mental power what is required physical power is also required without the labor without the machines you cannot do anything so for that labor is also required so labor means casual labor whatever it is there you are showing your physical strength so both maybe the farmer is working on the field he is showing his physical abilities so he cannot all of a sudden um, or i can say through some apps he cannot grow any food crops so for us for him that physical ability or strength is required so they are considered as a human resource and in this education and health help in making people a valuable resource so human resource human himself when he is considered as a resource when he is having education and also of course proper health if he is having education if he is having mental physical power everything but if he doesn't have proper health condition then what he is going to do so education and health help in making people a valuable resource let's move on to the next one the next slide says conserving resources what is the meaning of conserving the term itself says that preserving the resources preserving hame usko sambhal ke rakhna hai using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed hame resources ko itne acche se carefully use karna chahiye taki hame aane wale generation ko usko sambhal ke rakhna hai and we should get time to renewed children we have already studied in our previous classes regarding that सॉइल को कभी कभी इन सम ऑफ द प्लेसेस दैट वॉट दे आर डूइंग इज दे आर डूइंग एग्रीकल्चर एंड लिविंग दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड फॉर वन ईयर टू ईयर टू मेंटेन टू रिटेन इट्स फर्टिलिटी एंड हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू इफ यू आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग देन अगेन एंड अगेन एक्सट्रैक्शन हमें नहीं करना चाहिए वी शुड गिव टाइम टू गेट दम रिन्यूड the usage of 3 hours it is not 3 rupees it is 3 hours is another way of conserving resources they are reducing that means reducing the usage of it so then reusing so water we can reduce the use of usage of water that is why it is suggested instead of taking what bath on shower it is preferred to take using using bucket and mug then reusing sometimes so at some places we can use that water into diverting into plants and recycling some of the plastic that we are using that can be sent to the recycling process then next topic is sustainable development development should be there that is called sustainable development is known as balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future generation so we are now you have to use it in such a uh, such a manner that we have to preserve it for the future generation also say in our own family our family father or mother they are whatever the money they have they are not or uh, wasting that money uh, all of a sudden they are preserving they are saving some part of or a part of it for your future also that is called sustainable development now what are the principles of sustainable development there is a, a question with regard to this particular topic also you will uh, going to see it tomorrow first one respect and care for all forms of life so whatever in abiotic or biotic we have to respect and we have care for all forms of life then it improves our quality of human life so improve quality of human life minimize the depletion of natural resources so here one one can we can say that 
instead of doing reckless uh, deforestation cutting down the trees we can minimize it in that way we can uh, protect our natural resources change attitude towards the environment so don't consider that nature is giving us everything so we have we can use as and when as and our when our wish is we should not we have to change that attitude and enable communities to care for their environment even the communities also they have to uh, uh, care for their own environment this is what the picture that is reduce then reuse then recycle with this we are ending the chapter resources children kindly go through this chapter uh, and just mention if you have any doubt thank you mm -hmm.